24 HRS after NFL commish tells fans to stop talking about protest, shocking Veterans Day plan gets out. When word got out that NFL officials were going to be holding an emergency meeting over the protests that have plagued their sport, the country thought they would emerge with a white flag on the issue and announce a Hail Mary in hopes of saving themselves from further failure. Instead, they perpetuated the disappointment and sealed their unfortunate fate for the rest of the season and perhaps even the future of the sport. NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell has had so many chances since early August when preseason football and the protests began to do the right thing and doesn't. Now, he's sealed the unfortunate fate of the NFL forever with what he's decided to do now. Despite the NFL and FIPA calling it a productive meeting, it was only productive in making matters worse for their industry when it didn't seem like that couldn't be possible. After coming out of the three-hour powwow, the statement on what they discussed and conclusions they had come to was to continue to do nothing about kneeling while promoting a positive social change and address inequality in our communities, the statement said. This announcement was followed up with another detrimental statement to the sport when Goodell came out on Wednesday to say that protests are here to stay and that he's basically sick of hearing about it and wants to get back to football. He might be sick of discussing it, but Americans are sick of him allowing it and seeing it on the sidelines, destroying a sport much of the country used to enjoy. He can't get back to football but furious fans are planning to meet him on the field for the most important weekend of the year that doesn't go well with what these kneeling athletes are doing. The disrespectful antics are not going to be allowed to take place on Veterans Day weekend if a certain group of patriots have a say in the matter. They're making sure they do and that their voice is here loud and clear with what they have planned for this special patriotic weekend. Breitbart reports. Main Street Patriots are rallying fellow citizens to show their support across the United States for the American flag and the national anthem on Veterans Day weekend as a way to send a message about the importance of standing and saluting during the playing of the national anthem at NFL football games. The conservative group is encouraging Americans to join their flags across America movement next month. I have watched professional football since the time there were two separate leagues. AFL and NFL in the late 60s, Debbie Julie, co-founder of the group told Breitbart News. Sports has always been an arena where we are united in support of our favorite teams. We are not Democrats or Republicans, we are simply fans, Dooley said, adding that the NFL players are seeking to change that by attempting to shove their political views down the throats of fans. Dooley is hoping people will fly flags everywhere over the weekend and on Veterans Day, even if it's not in an NFL stadium. I urge patriotic Americans to exercise their First Amendment rights and boycott the NFL and their sponsors, Dooley said. It's not just NFL players who get to freely enjoy the rights granted them through the Fame Amendment, every American can and should express themselves too in this very incredible way. If this massive show of flag and the message represented with it is offensive to those kneeling, then maybe it's time they find a safe space in another country that doesn't expect the same respect for off glory. Flags across America symbolizes Americans coming together and showing respect and honor to our nation's flag and the freedom and liberty it symbolizes to the world, co-founder Ralph King said, Breitbart reported. It is also to honor the veterans that fought and died so we can maintain that freedom and liberty. The U.S. flag and the freedom for which it stands, at levels never before witnessed in our country, is under constant attack from the left and now pampered sports figures, King said. We cannot allow these attacks to go unanswered. Now is the time to be united standing in defense and proper recognition of old glory, King said. This is about more than just the flag and anthem although those are important. Sports stars used to be heroes and role models. When the NFL and other sports began lowering their standards for character all the other problems followed. These protests are more about the message players supposedly started taking a knee for. It's metastasized into something else entirely that's a cancer on society. Sports stars used to be heroes and role models but when the NFL and other sports began lowering their standards for character all the other problems followed. If you're boycotting, this is the one weekend to get involved for long enough to send a message back to the players and the league with a big visual that can be ignored. 
the protest is bigger than theirs, than theirs.